Here's a short message, so this won't be too long. Okay. <laughs> Cherish loves the short message. <laughs> so I'll make sure it's not too long. Um, so many churches hold the blessing of the animals in rec recognition of St. Francis of Assisi. He is known as the patron or protector saint of animals. Born in Italy in the 12th, 12th century, his love of God and love, love of all creation uh, was inspirational to many hearts. You'll find, if you dig into it in his life, you'll find beautiful stories around him. One story, one story in particular that I found most fascinating is the story that he preached to the birds in the, in the forest. Once he and his friends were walking together in the mountain, St. Francis noticed that a huge flock of birds had gathered in some trees. He felt that the birds were watching him, expecting something. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, he decided to give an impromptu sermon to the birds about God's love for them. One of his friends next to him recorded a sermon, and it goes likewise. My sweet little sisters, birds of the sky, Francis said, you are bound to heaven to God, your creator. In every beat of your wings and every note of your songs, praise him. He has given you the greatest of gifts, the freedom of the air. You neither sow nor reap, yet God provides for you the most delicious food. Rivers and lakes to quench your thirst. Mountains and valleys for your home. Tall trees to build your nest. And the most beautiful clothing, a change of feathers with every season. You and your kind were preserved in Noah's Ark. Clearly, our creator loves you dearly since he gives you gifts so abundantly. So please beware, my little sisters, of the sin of ingratitude and always sing praise to God. Amen. Evidently, we feel his love towards the birds and all God's creation out of his love for God. Today, um, the key message is this. If you are in love with God, you are capable of loving everything. Okay, let me say it again. If you are truly in love with God, you'll see things differently. You'll feel the world differently. You'll face your circumstances differently in the way God would see them. You'll have new eyes, new perspective, a new attitude to love everything around you once you are in love with God. The story reminded me of my past, my ugly and painful past. It was before I gave my heart to the Lord when I was spiritually very dry and dark. It was in the first year of my military service in Busan, South Korea. I was a platinum leader at the time, leading 30 plus soldiers. We were camped, camped at a mountain near the coastline for a special operation. And I was a commander in chief at that location. So everyone followed my rules and orders. One afternoon, several soldiers banged on my door. They seemed very urgent. They reported to me, sir, there is a baby dog that fell into a sewage hole in front of our base. We got to save it right now. I told them, all right, go ahead. They saved the dog and brought it to me, but it seemed too late. Its belly was swollen like a balloon, breathing hard, helplessly. The SEP surgeon came up to me and said, we should take it to the animal hospital right now. There's a chance we can save it. My response was very cold. Guys, it's just a dog. Why bother just let it die? He insisted. But sir, we cannot let it die. We got to do what we can do, please. So I told him a little irritated, do whatever you want. I'm out of my hands here. The sap surgeon took the dog outside our base. He went down the mountain. He took it to the vet. Out of his pocket, he paid all that needed to save this dog. Later that evening, he came back and said, the dog didn't make it. It died. And as far as I can remember, he didn't give me a look you know, on my face. To him, I must be a cruel, unloving, bad, inhumane person. He knew I was a Christian, at least superficially, but he was not. But I was the one who has a cold heart, but he wasn't. And now in retrospect, I feel terrible for, for what I've done to this dog. 
But at least it gives me and gives all of us important lesson. If you are not in love with God, because that, that was who I am at the time. I was so spiritually dry and dark. Now, if you're not in love with God, your heart can be very cold and sometimes cruel to other people or other living creatures. But if you are truly in love with God, you cannot help it but loving everything, even a small helpless dog. Why? Because there is God's prince in every living creature. Why? Because there is God's breath in every living creature. Jesus said, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So today, as we gather here to bless our pets and all the living creatures surrounding us today, that God created, let's ask the Holy Spirit first and foremost, oh God, restore our hearts to love you. Oh Holy Spirit, refurbish and revive our love towards, towards you by remembering his son, Jesus Christ, through whom God saved us as he died on the cross for our sins, so that by believing in him, we may have life now and forever and praise God forevermore. So with this love, that God showed us through his son and equipping this love in us, we may be able to love and truly bless the animals and li all living creatures around us today um, and bless all dying things. Amen? Amen. Amen.